Well, researchers at North Carolina A&T State University in Greensboro are looking for the next big money-making crop here in North Carolina. Yeah, they think ginger is a good choice, but how do you get a tropical plant to take root in a non-tropical climate? Charles Ewing takes us to A&T to see how researchers are sharing what they've learned so farmers can cash in on this popular spice. This A&T University farm greenhouse is filled with tall green plants. Plants that could one day bring a lot of green to North Carolina farmers. We try to find a solution and find the, you know, another avenue for farmers to get more you know, income. The valuable resource is on the bottom of the plant. Ginger is huge because people are looking for natural ways to maintain their health. Ginger is probably one of the most important uh, spices. You know, in people's diets almost every day eat some ginger for most people. Ginger can help fight the common cold, morning sickness, and chronic indigestion. It might even be helpful in some cancer treatments as well. So the popular spice comes with a big price tag. Bimber ginger can be sold about up to $20 per pound in the farmer's market. So that's a great potential for farmers to grow and make some money. Domestically, ginger is grown in Hawaii. The trick is, how do you get one of the nine varieties of a tropical plant to grow in North Carolina? Or do you go in a new direction? Like most crops in North Carolina, you're looking for a high production and very little disease. Researchers here at a t believe they found the right variety of ginger for North Carolina farmers to try. Researchers are using a technique called micropropagation or tissue sampling to produce a ginger plant that shows a lot of promise. But ours data shows the tissue culture uh, ginger seedlings you know, have a higher yield than the conventional seed sprout ginger. If the data continues to go in the right direction, then North Carolina farmers will have another crop to root for. We are so excited because our farmers are excited. So that's what the research is for. In Greensboro, Charles Ewing, Fox 8 News. Well, we are more interested in the bottom of the plant. a and researchers are studying to see if animals can get the same health benefits we do by eating the rest of the plant.